Don Calloway is here. Uh, you watched the whole Grammys or did you watch it the way I did? I didn't. I watched a little more than you, but I did some fast forwarding. But uh, shout out to Kingsley ben Adir. He's played Bob Marley and Malcolm X now. Uh, yes. So he's having a nice little run. Yeah, I mean, he's a phenomenal actor. He uh, but even he was skeptical because he's like, I'm 6'4". Bob Marley was like 5'6", and he was trying to lose weight for the role. Just to, the, and he was like getting sick, and then they were like, just capture the essence. Bob know? Marley was a tiny, tiny brother. You don't realize that. I spent some time at 56 Hope Street over the course of the last year uh, where his old his old place, and uh, I, I started going – I barely missed uh, Georgie, like Georgie Keep the Fire Light, you know, uh, mm-hmm. who was, and I barely missed Georgie Pass right before I went, but uh, wonderful, wonderful place. I would encourage the fam to check out if you can. Oh, you're serious about Jamaica? Oh, yeah, I be, yo, 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 I'm not playing. I'm heavy, okay. I'm heavy, in, I'm heavy in Kingston, yeah, man. Okay, I, I don't, oh, God. I'm not, no, 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 that was like, not a, I, feel, I feel like, Y'all in Jamaica, send your messages to your cousins and them. If you see Don <laughs> Calloway rough office, do not elect him. I, Yo, I, this yeah. is not going to end well. I'm just I'm letting the, the Jamaicans know y'all got this. Oh I my gosh! But though, so so back to the Grammy. Obviously, uh, I think Fast Car was an incredibly beautiful moment, and I want to take. I, I, one cannot say enough about how Tracy Chapman looked. Like unbelievable, right? Uh, aging in reverse, but I just couldn't help. I'm, I'm, and I'm going to start with the negative first. I'm just looking at this like so much value was created for this guy. This guy made his entire career based off capturing and delivering for a new audience this amazing gem of a piece of art that this black woman who was 19, 20 years old at the time created. Um, and it was just... Gosh, you know, the ongoing looting of our culture, right? Like, look look how much they can make and how much they are rewarded by latching on to something that these Black women have created. But I also thought about the SNL skit. Remember the classic SNL skit with uh, 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 Forrest Gump? What's his real name? Uh, Tom Hanks on playing Black Jeopardy. And this was that. If you think about the lyrics of the song, such a cross section of America experiences this. Hey, listen, we really ain't got much but a car and we can get away and maybe get a job at a convenience store and afford to keep some gas in this thing and maybe get promoted and stay out of trouble. And we might could eventually move to the suburbs. I mean, the power in that moment was that was such a unifying thing. Yes. That if if you, we could figure out how to capitalize on that, because That's I'm sure Luke Combs people and Tracy Combs, Tracy Chapman people vote for different parties, right? But there's a shared goal that if we could all just kind of find a way to get you into a little car and get you a job and be with somebody that makes you feel like you belong and live with some dignity, that's still yes. the promise of what yes. this country holds. That was, I mean, I didn't feel as if Luke Combs uh, appropriated because nobody was talking about Tracy Chapman. Nobody was playing fast car. Nobody. So in many ways, the, the tribute to her beforehand made me really love Luke Combs and how um, you know he talked about you know and he showed a picture of his little chubby you know redneck looking little boy who heard this song that transformed his life and then when he had an opportunity to he covered it but he paid her like and she's the first chords you see her black hands strumming that guitar and the first voice you hear is hers he didn't start it and bring her on she yeah. led that because it was her moment and he you know did what what uh what's her name tay tay didn't do for celine dion which is to mm-hmm. acknowledge her greatness yes. tay tay came up and got her record fourth album of the year and barely even acknowledged that you got this from celine dion the way miley cyrus paid homage uh, to to the greatness on the stage when she got her award from Mariah Carey. Th- to me, that was what the, the Grammys was about, the passing of the baton and how we can never... Uh, and, and Taylor Swift broke, to me, um, broke ranks with the, the spirit of the entire Grammys, which I know I think was produced by Black people. And, and I could yeah. feel that because it felt very communal and ancestral. And, and to your yeah. point, Don, I absolutely agree. That moment between Tracy Chapman and Luke Combs, to me, was the aspiration that th- this country, this world, this is what it should look like. And Fast Car is number one again after 36 years. And, her and, and, song, her yeah. version yes. is number one. 
Yes, go After listen to her years. version. Go listen to her version. Let's let's give that sister a retirement package. We know that she was not struggling by any means. She's lived an amazing life. But let's go ahead and infuse a little bit more capital with them spins because she absolutely deserves it and and has earned it. What a queen! Like my my lord, what a what a queen among us. And so it's really just heartwarming to see her get uh, get these flowers. Um, Michael Render. God bless Michael Render. Uh, he put out a project last year. See? See? Listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm not talking about Michael Render's politics, but I'm talking about the rap album that is Michael is, is a masterwork. Uh, it should have been nominated, in my view, for album of the year. It is a 40-year-old, 8-year-old black man reflecting upon being a black boy who grew up in Atlanta at a time where I saw black people running everything, but it was also extraordinarily high peril. We were selling dope. We was having sex. We was trying to make it. We was trying to survive by the, the wiles and, and, and guile of our praying mamas and grandmamas, even though they ain't had a stuff together. But look, we somehow made it and we just try to stay high and holy and count our blessings. I, I thought that piece was demonstrably, uh, 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 seminal for my life over the course of the last year, um, just as a black man of that generation. And I'm so proud to see Mike uh, create a definitive work at age 47, which is something that we're told is no longer, you know, in the window of your highest productivity. But he had something to say, and he was still executing his rap craft at such a high level, and he was rewarded for that. So to, for me to see that was just, it was just inspiring, and I'm so proud of 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 of, of Mike. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying, Fantasia you know. Barino. Fantasia Barino killed it. Uh, well, that was also Fatima. The and and yes. I was just looking at the rehearsal, the rehearsal, her rehearsal, which was impeccable, and then Burna Boy's rehearsal, yes. which also gave me chills. Burna Boy, and when Brandy came out, or when she yes. started singing first, because you know you're gonna hear Brandy before you see yes. her, and she looked amazing too. She's another person I think is aging in reverse. I don't even know what what Brandy is doing, but I was yes. like, Brandy looked the Brandy. damn same too. I don't she know looked what's the happening. same age as her daughter. She looked the same age as her daughter. But Brandy. you know, I I have to juxtapose. So we saw the Miley Cyrus get her moment where she's reinventing herself into whatever she first believed. Grammy, by the way, uh, Hannah Montana. Yeah, so you had two Disney, two Disney kids, Coco, uh, Coco Jones and Hannah Montana. Yes. This was her yes. first Grammy. Coco won a Grammy as well on Sunday. But you, you didn't like, you didn't like the fact that she didn't have on any drawers. Don? I didn't, you know. Hey, I don't mind people's wardrobe choices. Artists are artists, but at the end of the day, like you know, I'm not. You can't tell me that Miley Cyrus is this immensely talented rock star. And then I watched Fantasia Barino tear it out the frame. So you've got Miley Cyrus doing a bad Tina Turner impression. And then yeah, comes Fantasia, sing. who can sing and who can oh, dance wow. and who can swag. And, you know, I just, I can't. It's like Jay got up there and said, I don't, don't try to convince me that this is amazing. Don't try to okay. convince me that this is high. And, and look. I like I actually I don't listen to her music, but I respect the talent that Taylor Swift has and the songwriting talent and all that jazz. Yes, yes, yes. Tell yes. me that Miley Cyrus is among the rock icons of the day. She's not, you know. This is okay. No, I, she's not. I'll accept that. That one song that she won for though was pretty it was pretty good. When I heard all of the songs, I was like, Oh, that song is good. I, I saw myself doing I bop my head. I was like, that's not a bad song. And she performed it. She performed it really well, you know. Um, I, I, I disagree with you about Michael Render. I thought Nas's album was way better, but uh, maybe I'm biased. Maybe I'm biased. No, there's, there's some, yeah, there's some regional you know, stuff there. Mike, my, I'm a southerner. Mike is, yeah, in my experience, you know, you're 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 up north, you're a Yankee. I see that. <sighs> okay. Trevor Noah um, is amazing. I'm a big Trevor Noah. Yo, fan. He was, I, I thought he Noah. understood the assignment. He it did. was. He did. So perfect the way he hosted the Grammys. Um, and just to point of reference, Tracy Chapman won best. Um, she won three Grammys when Fast Car came out. Uh, best New Artist. She she won for Best Contemporary Folk, folk Album. And uh, Fast Car won Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. She won three Grammys that year. Uh, and... We, we haven't really heard from her since I think she had a Grammy in 1997 for best rock for give me one reason. 
Uh, oh, that was a good song too. Give me what reason? Yeah, that was that was fire. Yeah, so Tracy Chapman, you know, was having a moment. But again, we, we it's our responsibility to resurrect and and not let anybody that's great die and and do what Jay Jay Z did as well. As complicated as he is, set the record straight. Tell the truth about a thing, like he said. And, he tells the he truth told, when he's nervous. He told it. He told he he seemed more nervous than I've ever seen Jay Z, who is Mister Cool in my book. Um, but it was. He wasn't wrong. Again, he wasn't wrong. Don't present Miley Cyrus to me as though she belongs in the pantheon of America's great rock stars. Don't look at, don't play in our face and tell us that Beyonce is not among the celestial stars who have ever existed in pop music. Uh, it makes no sense that she does not have an album of the year. And you don't even have to compare her one-on-one -on -one to Taylor Swift, but you cannot tell us that Beyonce's work is not objectively genius because it is. And again, to me, this just underscores a couple of concepts that I talk about with my friends all the time. Number one, who sets the value? And in a universe in which we are not predominantly setting the value, we cannot expect to be properly elevated or even recognized. And it goes back to the importance of being recognized amongst our own. I bet I never hear none of us talking about BET awards or the trumpet awards or the Lady of Soul Awards, or the Soul Train Awards are low production value. No, it's important that we take our moments and our platforms to recognize greatness among our own because we should not go away feeling like we have produced less than because we have not. We have produced superior works that continue to undergird and fortify our people, and we can't expect to be recognized in the master's court, and it's okay if we're not because we can acknowledge our own greatness in our own spaces. Yes. And at the same time, we should be acknowledged everywhere. That's what I said yesterday. You don't Absolutely. get to ignore. You don't get to ignore me. I'm gonna keep banging on on all of this. And and oh, that banging you hear, that's me building a wing. That's me building a house onto the house that you think yeah. that I already built. That that's me. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. So I I'm, I don't think we should let them off the hook. No, we want the Grammys, the Oscars, the Emmys, and everything in between. And we're gonna have our own. And we're gonna do all of the things because we we built this there's no music without us so there's not there's not I, I just happen to believe that the best of ours is the best of anything so if coming to america is the funniest black movie of all time then why is it not the funniest movie of all time right period. I, 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 period. I won't be forced to, I agree. You know, I won't I, that's be forced what, to worship but, at the but, altar of patty shack right but that's that's up to us to, to set the language we, yes. we allow people to talk and play in our faces that's up to us Let's stop doing that. Yeah. Coming to America is the funniest movie of all time, period. Period. Yes. Period. That's yes. it. All right. Uh, second to life. No, I'm just playing. Uh, Don <laughs> Calloway, we can argue that. That was sad and funny. Don Calloway, uh, he will be in Nubia. People are trying to goad you. They were trolling you today in Nubia, but I'm glad you're not there today. No, I'm there. I'm there. I'm in are Nubia. You, you I'm, in, I'm so you sorry. Well, you weren't in the Nubia. chat because they were, ooh, they were lighting you up. All right. Which when we. <laughs> <laughs> you got to close your mouth. Close your mouth. All right. I love you, Don. <laughs>